Why do you think Kellogg's created Corn Flakes? As in the guy that created Kellogg's, he also has done stuff like Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, um, anything under the Kellogg's cereal brand. But why did he specifically make Corn Flakes? What do you think? Was it accidental? I don't think so at all. I actually think he purposely did this and the reason he purposely did that will shock you. Uh, so, in a second, I'm going to give you the, the, the scoop. All right, could you read that for us, Tatiana? The incredible story of Kellogg's Corn Flakes invention as an anti-masturbation breakfast. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, excuse me, Ricky. Ricky, I did see what you were doing. It felt good, didn't it? So a little bit of a backstory on this before Toddy reads a little bit more was that the guy Kellogg was not a big fan of masturbation or sexual stuff. So, you know, him and his wife definitely got along. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he thought kids were masturbating too much because of sugar. And he's like, you know what? I have the solution. I have the breakfast to start your day off. Just in case these kids are just going to hammer time on this your sheets. Just in case there's too many stains to clean. Just in case you're slipping all over the floor without a mop. These kids... <laughs> these kids are going to have a low sperm count if they don't stop it. Cut it out. So, Kellogg's came with a great, brilliant idea of making cereal that prevents kids from masturbating. Toddy, would you like to share with the class this article? I Kellogg's Corn Flakes were invented by Dr. Kellogg as one of the anti-masturbation breakfasts he developed in the sanitarium he was working. Here's the full interesting story. Dr. John Harvey Kellogg was a man that was a bit uncomfortable about sex. He believed that sex was detrimental to physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. He personally abstained from it and never had sex with his wife. <laughs> they were even sleeping in different rooms and adopted all of their children. I mean, I guess that's like a good deed right there, but I'm sure his wife wasn't too happy. I'm sure those kids weren't happy. Jeez, they had masturbation watch all over on them. Like, no, I got my eye on you. Don't you masturbate. All right, we'll go play with the knives instead. <laughs> but even though Dr. Kellogg believed sex was bad, masturbation was even worse. <gasps> I mean, what? God forbid. I, I mean, I was about to say, God forbid they get herpes or HIV, but that wasn't a thing back then, so I guess they were free of that. But, um, <laughs> masturbating is worse than sex. Well, okay, but I don't think that, that uh. With his mustache, though. Like, I feel like he's just so out there. Not out there, but like... You would think he'd be a chronic masturbator? No, but I think he would at least enjoy sex. <laughs> he seems like he'd be like, I want to have a little bit of fun. Oh, With no. With a mustache like that? He had no. a whole wife. Did he, though? They weren't having sex. Probably because of him. Or he wasn't having sex. And his wife definitely cheated on him. There's no way she didn't. Yeah, hot like not that that's right, but... No, on, it's not right. Keep people happy. It's not right to cheat, but it's not right to hold the dick away from your wife. Like the whole damn time? Yeah, it's just... Maybe yeah. If it's it's like, like taking water, away food and water. Just... Probably went over there yeah. to... What's the other cereal company? General Mills? Or... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, if Tony the Tiger ain't giving me no dick, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find that Trix rabbit. <laughs> 